We're here today to uh, protest at the imminent closure of the A&E 24 hour service in Nina Hospital. We're holding a vigil every night for an hour uh, to show that we really and truthfully want to hold on to our 24 hour A&E. It's absolutely essential to Nina and North Tipperary. Um, it's a disgrace that the HSE are imposing this on the people of the surrounding communities who should be treated the same way as people in Dublin, Cork or Limerick or any other urban area where they have all the services that they require locally. This hospital serves us well. It serves us fantastically. The staff are brilliant. We deserve to have our 24-hour A&E so that people who are playing games know that they can come here late at night, so that people who are in emergency situations know they can come here late at night. We are going to protest against this potential closure all the time until we get it reversed. It is an absolute disgrace that they're picking on a place like Nina and its hospital, using North Tipperary as the guinea pigs. It's also disgraceful that they come, uh, af they'll come afterwards and try and take away our intensive care and also our basic surgery. We have to keep on this fight. We are the guinea pigs for the rest of Ireland. and We're going to fight this with our colleagues in Monaghan, in Innes, Bantry, Mallow, Tralee, anywhere we ha can. We know that there's solidarity out there with us. Rural Ireland should be treated the same way as everywhere else. We're entitled to our basic hospital services and the people in North Tipperary shouldn't be discriminated against. How would Mary Harney like it if her constituents had to travel for 40 or 50 miles in some cases to get to an A&E? How can the golden hour be maintained whereby people's lives will be saved? It simply is incredible. The HSE are incredible. And what they're saying is incredible. They don't have the finances to be able to implement the plans that they have, and the plans that they have are, f are at fault. They, st they don't stand up to scrutiny. The doctors in this region have called their, pot their plans potentially catastrophic, need we say any more. And we're asking for the people of Ireland to come out and support us to fight this HSE, to fight this organisation which is ramming this down our throats. And we know that the research that they're using is flawed. It's based on various different countries who have different, uh, different uh, structures to Ireland, whose whole uh, infrastructure is different and whose whole uh, medical uh, circumstances and the way in which they organise their health services is very different. This is totally wrong and the people of North Tipperary deserve better. The Nina Hospital Action Group are going to continue their fight for as long as it takes. Thank you. My name is Noreen Kendi, a long-time member of the Nina Hospital Action Group and supporter of Nina Hospital. I'm here this evening with friends again protesting at the removal of services from our fine hospital and in particular at the minute our a &E services, our 24-hour service. Um, I would represent the ordinary man, woman and child downtown Nina and further surrounds in North Tipperary and it's a disgrace. It shouldn't happen. The medics are behind us. Uh, the people of Ireland are behind us. But it seems these HSE are covering their ears as does this government. I'd like to say to you that we will continue this vigil up until the 6th of April when the HSE say they plan to close our service at 8 o'clock here at Nina. And uh, I might highlight that the one hour is very significant in that uh, they're completely discounting the golden hour that anybody doing first aid courses or otherwise is, is always taught. Uh, the other reason, I suppose personal reasons, um, it's a very fine hospital with a very fine staff and what the HS, HSE have done is downgraded by stealth uh, called this particular group scaremongers and, uh, and other statements and we have been telling the truth from day one. Uh, the lies, I'm afraid, come from elsewhere. Uh, we need everybody in Nina, North Tipperary, Thurless, Ross Grey, we need you behind us. This campaign will continue. It will go further and it certainly go further than local elections or, might I say, uh, the next general election. They're going to get it from us. Thank you.